Hey, everybody. So we have a trade to talk about. Duncan Keith has been traded by the Chicago Blackhawks to the Edmonton Oilers in exchange for Caleb Jones and a third round draft pick. Keith has been a guy that's been talked about a lot this offseason. He was very likely to be traded. Uh, I did a video a couple weeks ago about him likely being moved this offseason. Well, that trade has finally happened, and we're going to take a look at it here. Now, before we begin, I just ask you to please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. It helps out the channel so, so much and is greatly appreciated. But let's take a look at the deal here between Chicago and Edmonton. So the Edmonton Oilers receive defenseman Duncan Keith from the Blackhawks, who he has two years left on his deal at $5.538 million per season. In exchange for defenseman Caleb Jones, who has one year left on his deal at eight hundred and fifty dollars and a third round pick going to the Chicago Blackhawks. Duncan Keith is 37, Caleb Jones is 24. So... This is an interesting deal here, and Edmonton is already getting dragged uh, on the internet for this. And honestly, at face value, this is a great deal for the Chicago Blackhawks. And I'm not saying that Duncan Keith can't play an effective role with the Edmonton Oilers, but the price that Edmonton has paid here for Duncan Keith, especially with no salary on Keith's contract being retained by the Blackhawks, it, this is... Um, particularly tough if you're an Edmonton Oilers fan. So just uh, Duncan Keith, I'm obviously three-time Stanley Cup champion, Conn Smythe winner, former Norris Trophy winner, very, very good defenseman throughout his NHL career, he played in his entire career with the Blackhawks um, up until obviously now starting next season. But his play and his numbers have significantly declined over the past couple of seasons. 2019-2020, um, he only had uh, 27 points. And then this past year, uh, he just had 15 points in 54 games for Chicago. He was also a minus 13. There's been a significant decline in his overall play. And... That's not necessarily unexpected for a 37-year-old defenseman. He's obviously getting to the end of the line here. Um, Chicago was still using him way too much. They were playing him like a top-pair defenseman, which he is not anymore. And, you know, Chicago wasn't exactly putting him in the best position to succeed either. However, the problem with Duncan Keith is that he's making $5.538 million per season for another two years, this coming season and the year after that. So he will be 39 when this contract ends. And Duncan Keith at this point, I think, can play an effective role in in the middle or bottom pair of a defense lineup. He's a veteran guy with a ton of experience and can still play decent defensive hockey. But with their, the problem with this deal is that there is no, one of the problems with this deal is that there is no salary retained, which means Edmonton is going to have to pay, and this is a cap hit, of the full $5.538 million for the Edmonton Oilers. I mean, this is not a good contract, and I don't know why the Oilers were so willing to take on this contract without Chicago eating some of it. I mean, that that's baffling to me, and if you're an Oilers fan, I would imagine that that is baffling to them as well. I mean, listen, Duncan Keith is not what he used to be. He can still play an effective role. He's a good addition, a good leader. Um, like I said, when I did the first Duncan Keith video this offseason, I said Edmonton was, out of all the Western Canadian teams, Edmonton was the team that made the most sense to go out and get Duncan Keith. However, the fact that they gave up this much for him and have to pay the full contract really tips his trade, in my opinion, into the favor of the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, from a Chicago standpoint, you get Caleb Jones, who is a 24-year-old defenseman. Uh, he uh, is a left shot. He played 33 games for the Oilers this past season. He had no goals and four assists and was a minus seven. He's still young, just trying to find his way at the NHL level. He hasn't played a full season 
um, you know, a full NHL level season yet. He played 43 games in 2019-20. He played 33 last year. So it's not like we've seen him play, you know, 70, 80 plus games in a season yet, but he's still young. He's a solid player who still has room to grow as well and continue to improve at just 24 years old. You know, he's going to get better. And I think he is going to be a really solid young addition to the Chicago back end. They also get a third round pick. And this is another thing. This is a steep price to pay for Duncan Keith at 37 years old if you're the Edmonton Oilers. You're giving up a 24-year-old young defenseman who is just about ready to break into a full-time NHL role and a third round pick for a 37-year-old guy on a bad contract. That's that's tough to swallow as the Oilers here. Uh, and again, like if this was just Caleb Jones for Duncan Keith, you know, I, I could maybe see that that would at least that would make Edmonton better in the short term, but maybe not work out as good long term. If it was just Duncan Keith for a third round pick, I think that that would even um, end up, you know, that might even favor the Oilers, per honestly. Um, because I do think that Duncan Keith can be an effective mid-pair guy with Edmonton or a bottom-pair guy. But Duncan Keith was playing well over 20 minutes a night with Chicago. He cannot do that anymore. If the Oilers want to effectively use Duncan Keith, he needs to be playing like 18, 19 minutes a night. And in that role, I still think he can be a good effective player. But um, to give up this much... For somebody who's 37 and on a bad contract, that just it favors Chicago, in my opinion. Um, you know, again, if it was just a third round pick and maybe some salary retained, that would be advantage Oilers. If it was Caleb Jones for Duncan Keith, you know, even that, you know, you don't you're trading a 24 year old for a, for a 37 year old. Um, but if there was salary retained, I could I could still see that from an Oilers perspective where you're trying to win now. You've got McDavid and Drysaddle, you know, putting up hundred you know, well McDavid hundred point seasons. You know, dry saddle with an MVP year in 2019, 2020. Uh, McDavid was MVP this past season. Like you're trying to you're trying to win now if you're the Oilers. And Duncan Keith can help you do that, but to give up a 24-year-old defenseman, you know, and not have salary retained when he's on when Keith is on such a bad contract at this point, um, I don't know. It's just tough. I know a lot of Oilers fans don't seem to be happy about it. I don't blame them. Um, again, it's it's not really, it's not that I don't like Duncan Keith's fit with the Edmonton Oilers. It's that I don't like the price of what they gave up in this trade. And I don't like that Chicago did not retain any salary. So Edmonton is going to have to take on that full cap pit of over 5.5 million. To me, that's just not worth it from the Oilers standpoint. Um, I don't think that Duncan Keith's his contribution and what is what it's going how it's going to make the Oilers better is not worth taking on this cap hit and losing Caleb Jones in my opinion um there needed to be either salary retained or Jones not involved in the deal and it just be the third round pick or or even just get you know only give up Jones or the third round pick with salary retained that wouldn't be as bad either those kind of deals i could see from an edmonton standpoint but this one and how it actually shaped out screams win for chicago in my point you get a younger player and a third round pick you know and the young player has a pretty decent ceiling as well with Caleb Jones and you give up a 37-year-old defenseman who is on a pretty significant decline and um, you know, getting down to the last probably few years of his NHL career here. So um, I don't know. That's my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But I really think that this is a, a good trade for the Chicago Blackhawks. And I'm really not sure why the Oilers had to give up this much or why the Oilers would agree to give up this much for Duncan Keith, who is clearly not a top pair defenseman anymore. 
But um, the deal is done. This is what it is. And uh, we'll see how it works out for both sides next season. But don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon, merchandise store, donation link, and channel memberships are in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to you guys soon.